well. So you get to split into three installments. Pay 200 pounds three times, you know. 200, 200 pounds in January, 200, 200 pounds in February, and 200 pounds in March, you know, to join the March cohorts. Is it this week that it is ending or next week? It's ending soon. It's ending soon. Actually, we should, we should have ended because we've been running it since um, November, actually. You know, but we should do this for January 6th. So that's why we are here today. But yes, you can still secure your slots. You know, hopefully we won't end this before the training starts. But the earlier, the better. You don't want to have, you know, you don't want to be ready. And we now tell you that, oh, you know... <laughs> And you extend the payments to next week Friday. Like I said, it's ending soon. We've not said this is the cut of time. So even if it's next week Friday, still try to make your deposit. Hopefully, we won't have ended it by then. If I thought we are ending it earlier, it should be announced on the page as well. But the earlier, the better. I noticed you are yet to mention about Excel and PowerPoint. So the Excel and PowerPoint is a training. It's not a full bootcamp. And it's going for just £100. You get to get basic to advanced Excel and also get to enjoy basic to advanced powerpoints this has also helped a lot of people if you know that you know you are not ready for full boot camp but you want to like add value to yourself the excel and powerpoints but, um, training right is your best bet that's one of our very very interesting classes as well at the end of it you get to be able to build dashboard to make very good presentation there is no way you have interview in this uk that for a corporate job that they will not tell you to do some tasks on excel or present on powerpoints and you know you don't want to wait till that time when you have that interview before you start looking for who will come and teach you crash course right so the earlier the better if that is the only gift to do for yourself this january enroll for the excel and powerpoints that's just for 100 pounds so i think that answers the question because i'm not sure i have anything i'm not sure i have yeah maybe at the end of the slides i have something on that to say but i've answered the question already can someone who is in the uk make payments in naira if much how much will it cost if you're based in the uk we encourage you pay in pounds because that's what is better that way because the exchange rate is very volatile if you start paying at this ex at this exchange rate today by the time you have to pay your balance what would the exchange rates be you know i mean if the balance you don't have to pay is higher, it has actually caused um discrepancies and confusion a couple of times so we prefer if you pay in um pounds however chat with our this is, requires a one-to-one -one conversation so chat with the numbers on the screen that i posted our whatsapp numbers okay what is the best skill to add to a digital marketing course right right so in terms of skills to add there are loads of skills you can add it depends on your interests you know it depends on your interests and your capacities as well and you know what you're looking to pursue a data marketing person can decide to do you know data analysis can decide to do projects management it depends on which one you really want right so what about data analysis and business intelligence? I've jo I just joined and I'm not sure I've, you've answered this. No, I've not actually talked about data analysis. We are getting the that's the next that's the next um, one we are talking about. I will go for March class. Thank you, Chinaza. I we thought there was a discount for January bootcamp. That was why I came close. Yes, there's a of two ninety nine. Yes, there's a discount. You get to secure your slots with two ninety nine, but that's the cost is not two ninety nine. There's no way you see a boot camp of two ninety nine. You know, um. So yes, the cost is five ninety nine. You pay fifty percent now and balance. You know, by mid February or end of January. So to those in Africa and Ghana to research, I got to know about okay, why is not long. How can we be aided, please, with the amounts? Benjamin, please chat with the WhatsApp numbers. Um. So be please paste the WhatsApp link to chat with the WhatsApp numbers there. Can we make the payments end of the month for the next quarter? Yes, yes, yes. For the night by end of January, we already put out you know information about that. But yes, you can already start paying. We are taking install payments already for the March quarter, starting from January ending as well, because this boot camps starts you know January twenty and twenty seventh respectively. So immediately this one starts, we start taking for March as well yes yes Unde, that answers your question as well is it possible to make first installments by january ending for march quotes yes 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 Unde, you can also chat with those on the whatsapp to respond to you 
can you drop the contact you can speak with please drop the whatsapp link for them to chat with on the ch chat box is there a particular date when the match but should start making commitments in this january january ending ideally is there any discounts for family that everybody is RKY okay family so the discount is for you you are my family as well is the pmb able to come down separately i don't know what that question means if i didn't ex i mean maybe you can rephrase after the pmb be able to can, can the knowledge gain be used to write and pass SIBA certification and the scroll master certification exam so the modules are done in line with this you know bodies however we are not it's examination preparation training you know for the scrum especially we actually align the training and even within the bootcamp we are assessments that are past questions of you know scrum certification that you have to answer to prepare you however we encourage that you also do your personal reading to pass these exams to do some of these exams you need to have a very good understanding and experience as well which is why we always advise people to start with a bootcamp gain practical experience if possible even get a job right before they go on to write this um certification especially the expensive ones however if you have completed the boot camp right you've gained the practical experience you can register for this training but you need to get their materials as well and read because their materials are always you know very robust okay for the project management and business analysis classes are saturday sundays 4 to 6 p.m for the first seven weeks all classes are recorded and available on the LMS for you to rewatch or have a recap. Did you mention you provide work reference, please? We mentioned that you get to work with our subsidiaries and partners to complete and implement the projects. And this can be, you know, this will be added to your CV and we'll verify this, you know, when you get a job. So pretty much, yes, but based on you completing the projects. Okay, there's no number on the screen. Please paste the numbers in the chat box. Please paste the number in the chat box. Okay, can I get the link for this summit? I need a friend to join for the data analysis. Okay, please. Um, the, the link for this session is on... Um, the link for the session, right, is on our Instagram story. It can also be dropped in the um, chat box right as a chartered accountant which of the bootcamp is applicable and relevant especially for a finance person for finance persons and that want to still continue to be in finance i recommend the data analysis and the business analysis i mean the data analysis and business intelligence bootcamp okay is there a discount for taking pmba and excel courses they are all on discounts already so at any part if you are joining this course you are getting them all at a discounted price. But I would say, you know, you should actually um, check the Excel classes also happen 3 to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sundays as well. So, I mean, I don't know how you want to combine the two at the same time, you know, because they are all, all our classes are practical. You get to get hands on. Okay. How can one join the bootcamp for March? What is the schedule like? Okay, so the to pay for March cohorts, you need to pay your first installment January ending, you know, and you can split. The earlier you pay, the most you can split, you know, but, you know, you can split into three installments, you know, um, January ending, February ending, March ending. The good thing is that if you start paying now, whatever it is, if we decide that the price will be higher for the March cohorts, it won't affect you because you've already started paying. So you get to enjoy the early bit discounts because we've not decided what the discounted amount will be for March okay did you mention you provide work re reference after completion if you complete your projects during the work experience phase of course we'll confirm your reference if they want to confirm that you worked with us do you give certification yes we do give certification we are a cb cpd accredited you know um training provider you know, CPD is continuous professional development. They are a UK um, based accreditation and, you know, endorsements body that approves and go through our materials and confirms that they are of international standard. If your company also gives you credits for this, because some companies, is a requirement for company for you to take some certain hours of CPD. Your companies can also pay for this course, right? 
can I do BA bootcamp in January and later in March do the product on a scrum master? Definitely. We have people that, you know, they even get the job. We have people that used, they were in the PMBA, they got a job, they came back for the scrum master as well, just to get a product-led environment experience as well. Okay, I think there are loads of questions, but we won't, we won't leave today. Okay. I'm into healthcare, but want to transition. Which of these boot camps do you advise? I prefer something a bit related to health. I mean, something I can integrate into healthcare. Okay. There's none of them that you cannot integrate with tech. It's, um, you know, there's something called industry experience advantage, you know, which you would always have, you know, if you have, indo like you can become a business analyst and try to get jobs, you know, within the health and care industry, and then you get an advantage, you know, for this, you know, I mean, there's someone that is coming up to speak to us now, right, and she would explain better on how this, you know, she's a health and care person, and, you know, Okay. Okay, cool. I think um, we have loads of questions. Admi would continue to try to answer your questions, you know, but we've got a guest speaker in the house today and she's, you know, an RKY um, family. She's an RKY, um, what would I say? I'll let her introduce herself, but, you know, her name is Adama. She's a business analyst, you know, who's, um, I mean, you can read her introduction. She's a fantastic, you know, business analyst, you know, and I'll let her talk about her journey, you know, briefly before we proceed, you know, to the other, um, um, other area, you know, just keep your questions coming. Hopefully, I'll be able to go back to answer the questions as well if they relate to what I've said previously. So, Adama, I don't know if you're here today. Thank you so much, you know, for coming, you know, to share or to talk to aspiring, you know, business analysts and project managers and tech enthusiasts in the house as well. Okay, so, yeah. You have the floor. Thank you for having me. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Depending on your time, I'll still say good day. And um, if you can all confirm, if you can hear me. I don't know if you can all hear me. <laughs> can we? Um, yes, we can, Adama. Okay, that's fine then. Okay, so um, I'll be very brief because I think RQI has covered almost everything I had on my slide. So I'm not even going to share the slide anyways because that would be a repetition. But um, just to bring a few things into perspective as someone that has completed the um, book camp myself. And um, I would say my experience during the boot camp was um, a testament of everything that she has said, which is that um, RKY is like a family and also that um, everything you get to experience is firsthand. Um, during the knowledge base, which is the first part of the boot camp anyways, that you're going to, you get the will I say non-practical or basically the building blocks before you come towards the practical. The practical is my major emphasis because I will keep saying this till tomorrow. I don't think they emphasize the vigorosity of the practical as they should. I think I should put intensive work work experience somewhere in her description <laughs> because it's really, really, really intensive. But just to bring it to perspective, right? A lot of us are moving from another country, coming to another country. And at the end of the day, we all have things that we hope to achieve. And the reason I would like to presume why we moved is because we saw value in the country we are moving to. We saw um, maybe opportunities that it will offer you. It's the same for you signing up to the boot camp you are perceiving that there is a value at the end of the day that something would at least um you would improve your career in one way or another another so if you are coming into the boot camp um my sound advice is take advantage of 
everything, every tool that is being provided for you. It might seem like it's a lot of work. It might seem like it's a lot of commitment, but trust me, these are things that would build up, especially your soft skills. I've gone to interviews where I've had to um, do presentations. It's not easy to present, especially if it's virtual presentations, because you can't get the feel of the room as when you're like in a room with people. So you're yeah, assuming that they're either following you or they, like, they are going with the flow of whatever you are presenting, right? Because they are not in the room with you. So these are some of the things you start like picking up during the bootcamp, where you do presentations to your stakeholder, where you start speaking to your sponsor, where you start doing role plays. And um, another thing I would say is mindset. The mindset you come into the bootcamp with would well take you um, through the bootcamp and even after the bootcamp. What do I mean by mindset? Once you come into the bootcamp, a mistake that I did that I later um, realized is you are not in RQY's um, bootcamp. Although you are going through the training, please start bringing it in your head that you're a business analyst, you're a project manager. This would help your confidence from the start go. When they ask you your name, by the time you finish saying your name, please put BAPM, whatever it is, just start getting used to the fact that this is where you are. Because transitioning mm -hmm. into any tech, um, any sector that is not yours comes with a lot of doubts. Can I do it? What if I'm not enough? Imposter syndrome, a lot of things like that. And then it will reflect in your interviews where you come to interviews and then you're not even sure, you've, you've not convinced yourself yet that, okay, I'm a project manager. You're still feeling, ah, I've done the boot camp, but am I really, it's, it's, it just feels like it's something I've done. Please start convincing yourself the moment you start the boot camp that you are this, um, you have the skills, you can be called a project manager, and this is what you do. This will help you, even with engaging with your, please role play as much as possible. If you have presentations and you're presented as BA, please present as the BA. Role play it, make it as real as possible to you. This will help you to kind of, um, just get the feel of what your day-to-day -day anyways will be. Because once you start the boot camp, you've literally moved from being whatsoever you were doing before to being a scrum master. So if you are not role-playing a scrum master, is it when you get the job that you start, okay, now I'm a scrum master. You have to start from somewhere. So I would say make your mistakes. You've got amazing facilitators that will help you correct you and hold your hand throughout the process till when you and even after you land your job is a continuous process anyways so um and then finally i would answer so the question the last question about health i'm in health as well and i'm just getting into um health technology is very very possible and within health there are no I'm just discovering for myself, but there are countless roles you can do within health tech and combine whichsoever you want to do. It's Chrome, data, business analysis, project management, whichsoever one you decide to do at the end of the day, you can still transition to health put in your, so now we are saying digital health in total, basically. You can say transition into health and there are a plethora of roles, especially with NHS implementing systems, EPR systems, transitioning most of them to digital. They are doing a lot of projects around digital health within the NHS now. So there are a lot of um, opportunities for you within health technology that you can engage yourself with private sectors as well that you can inject, engage yourself with. Try and build a brand for yourself. I like the way the person said it. I still want to stay within health. So you've already identified what you have before and then you're not combining it with what you're acquiring now to be able to um, build a brand. So you've distinguished yourself basically because BA is too broad. I can tell you for a fact, there's legal BA, there's financial BA and so many others. So like you have to start figuring out what sector 
or what type of BA you want to be and specialize in that aspect. That will help you a lot when you come to your job search and then applying for roles. Never downplay what you, uh, your experience you have before. If you have customer experience, ask that. Aldi, they are all looking for BAs. That will probably be your most selling point rather than going to maybe a legal BA that you might not have you can still get rules within that. But I think we're getting my point that where you where your niche is, is where you thrive, even within your interview, because you can answer questions very fluidly, even when they come like outside of what you've prepared in quote for. So um, build your brand. Yeah, at the right place, you've got, I would say Akira is a one-stop shop, right? So you've got, you can shop for all the essentials you need. So do not, feel like you're not at the right place or you cannot do it you can't do it some of us felt like that but we still did it anyway okay thank you so but we still did it anyways and um and we'll continue improve our, improving ourselves so that will be all from me thank you very much Akiwai. thank you adama thank you so much you know um, do you want to share your experience as well on the boot camp and, you know, um, probably, you know, did, what's it led to and eventually? Okay. So, um, my experience on the boot camp, thank you, Joel. My experience on the boot camp is um, the, the first part of the boot camp, which is the knowledge base. I must admit, I was very busy at that point. So, I was not very um, hands-on, but then during the practical, I was very hands-on. And my experience was that um, I felt supported because our facilitators, Ibiemi, uh, Abdul, Bukola, our facilitators, they really took their time to support us. We also had support in terms of mentorship. So um, that's kind of give us support we need the tools if we had any problem i can i said it and i'll say it again the the practical experience is very hands-on and intensive you need to be present to be able to do the work experience but then it's not something outside of the norm because if you go to work like you have to be present to do the work anyways which is what RQI give is giving you Maybe not in the conventional sense, in the sense that you don't go on Monday 9 to 5, but that is what you are doing. So you need to be present to do the projects that you are giving and you work as a team. So some of those soft skills that we are talking about in terms of communication, I picked it up well during the um, work experience, but majorly the tools right we got to use tools that i've never in my life heard of till i came to RQI and i started the boot camp um prototyping um using balsamic although we did not use balsamic but using balsamic jira and the rest of them these are things that if you don't do it yourself no matter how they talk you through it it will still look gibberish especially if it's not your industry you have to like play around with them, work with them for yourself to be able to know um, how they work, make mistakes, get correction from uh, your facilitators. They will always give you feedback on each step of the project timeline that you're working on. So you get all those. So that was my experience. I was able to learn how to use those tools. I was able to sharpen my um my soft skills basically and i would say um what that led to is after i finished the um my book camp i think we finished in november if i'm not mistaken um i have been able to secure a role with the nhs uh, for one of their um university of manchester basically nhs foundation trust um and i'll be working 
as an analyst for applications analyst, basically for one of their EPR, EPR systems they are working on right now, which is a very interesting um, system they are working on. So you see, the roles are not just limited to what IQI told you, is like um, a tip of the iceberg, really. There are roles out there, but then how you engage, even during my interview, like, I can tell you for a fact that when I went to my interview, by the way, the role I secured was not the role I interviewed for. I don't think I've told Akira myself, but it's not the role I interviewed for, actually. When I went into that interview, I went into that interview and I got that from what Abdul said during one of our career sessions. He said, Companies are not looking for you to just come and tell them or answer their interview questions. They're looking for what you are bringing that they don't have. So when I went into that interview, I went to that interview that I've read about your system. I know a bit about healthcare, and I think this is what I can do. And for the first 15 minutes of the interview, I believe we didn't even ask um, questions, really. We're just discussing around what the work they were doing on their APR. And then, so when they called me back after my interview, they said, oh, like, um, sorry, we, we had someone with more experience working with APR within the NHS. But however, we liked your interview. So we'd like to offer you this role. And it needs a particular certification. And some of us may know it's EPIC. So you need... EPIC certification to work on that particular system. And they said, oh, for the first month of your role, we would allow you to do the certification, we'll pay for you, and we'll put you through the certification. Then after then, you can start working on your role. So you can see that when they perceive the value you bring, they are willing to offer you, and they are willing to retain you. But that only comes from when you, um, when you put yourself out there as like, different from what everyone is i can assure you everyone that goes to an interview is prepared to answer interview questions but you're not going to answer interview questions you're going to tell them that you need me and this is why you need me and the only way you can tell them you need me and this is why you need me is because you have those tools that you have built um through the boot camps and then through applying it as well to be able to stand out from everyone else. The market is competitive. I, I For those of us that have applied for business analysis or any other role within the space, I think on LinkedIn especially, you can see a role that is pasted or rolled out one hour, two hours, over 100 applications. So we do know that the market is competitive, but that doesn't mean that there are no rules out there. The question is, what are you bringing to my company to improve me? And that is what RPY gives you. So um, guys, just enjoy the process and then um, have fun. And we look forward to hearing your success stories as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, um, Adam. I think you've said it all, everything you've said, you know. One thing I didn't say is how competitive the market is, you know. I mean, I can totally relate to the fact that, you know, you see a job that was posted like 10 minutes ago and 200 people have applied. Like, where are these people? <laughs> you know, where are these people coming from? So the market is very competitive. Thank you so much, Adama, for making our time to come here. You know, I really, really appreciate, you know, you coming to give back. And this is what you get at RKY. As part of the RKY family, you know, you also get to get your success stories and come back to give back, not only to potential or prospective students, but also to members of the community. There are so many people that we have who come back, you know, to that's why, you know, the, the family system actually works because, you know, when you were in the system as well, people gave to you you also you know you come back you know to give back thank you so much um thank you for having me Adama, you know um, i really appreciate and so there you have it she landed she finished you know a bit camp in november and you know she has landed you know a desired role not just one you know in fact she she she, she reduced the success to people who accepts it like that you know and move on so that there you have it anyways you know thanks so much adama so there you have it if you are still sitting on the bench you rise and have not you know um, enrolled yet here is your you know here is what i mean here is what would i call it now 
but anyways i'm sure you get my points okay so we move on let me see the chat box if there are more questions before i proceed so there, there you have it for project management business analysis scrum master a product owner and i think we get to move on now to the rest right okay so i'm going to check the chat box now to see if we have any new questions before we proceed please space the account details for those that want to um enroll so they can make and secure their slots probably after this session self she might not need to take any enrollment and we'll just close the we'll close the enrollment for the january post and then wait for march post. so don't don't lose your slots secure your slots before we are sold out right okay so where are we trying to like check the comment section if there's any new thing to pick up okay i think i answered this question about cbap you know let me talk i answered the question that this is not our training is not a certificate preparation um training it's for you to gain practical work experience however you know um you will need to get their materials right to prepare for the exam however you need the prerequisite knowledge you get in the boot camp as well as well as the experience most of these professional exams like pmp and code they need you to have at least two years of experience or so in that field before you can you know even come and write their professional exams joel says i am motivated already and i can't wait to start thanks you're welcome joel that's the you know that's the old points to keep you you know motivated and inspire you right do you guide on how to search for jobs like i said we have a series of we have series of sessions called the career support session you know just like she said you can see her referring to how somebody told her this during the career those are the sessions we have to guide you on how to apply to job how to pass interviews you know it's a series of events it's not just one session you know where we prepare you you know on how to apply for jobs there's something as well we are introducing which you know probably even the current um, com um community don't are not aware about because we are still doing the logistics we want to also continue to provide continuous support right drop-in sessions maybe on a weekly basis you have interviewed this week you can drop in because for us at rky is about what more can we give to people to help them land jobs we know we've collected your money we know your cohort is over but that is not what it's about for us it's all about how we can continue to support that's why we put together everybody in the community you know for the different and respective cohorts you know to like continue to like you know share resources with you this is what we found you might need this you know um let's all meet again at mountains let's you know bring somebody you know uh, rky is a very big network of professionals to be honest who we've worked with in time time past and at some point i just tap into that network as well come and talk to my people you know sometimes we also get people that you know are out there that are professionals that we say to come speak so it's all about what more we can give to our people cool for those that are late hmm, you are very very late you can see how many hours we've had two hours 22 minutes you're asking how whether we are going to learn projects management and business analysis we've answered this so you are going to learn the two together right okay so after payments you know um admin please drop what they should do after payments for those that have made payments drop the um what they are supposed to do in the chat box as well okay cool i think um that's it um regards to the chat box admin try to see if you can answer people's questions in the chat box and then i'll go on with my slides thank you for all those who are still on the call for keeping you know for staying with you know us till now and you know i'm sure it's been a very insightful one so far if it's been insightful please drop a hello in the chat box or drop yes it is in the chat box you know okay chinaza said it's been an interesting session thank you chinaza okay so i also believe it's been interesting for everyone so far please if you have questions drop it in the chat box you don't need to raise your hand thank you thank you thank you okay so we proceed thank you linda ifoma kaya de mary all those who have dropped you know their um feedback so far all right cool so we proceed to another you know for those that said they wanted to join or send the links to their friends and families if you have friends and families you know who want to join you know the um data analysis 
or who are interested or you know they just want to just they should still you know send them the links to the session and let them also join and benefit from this for those asking questions about project management business analysis we've just rounded up you know um projects management business analysis scrum master and product owner we will still have a, re a short recap at the end of the session but now we are proceeding to data analysis and business intelligence i'm sure that you know this is also a very very popular one and i'm sure that you know we all want to know what it's all about because i get a lot of people asking me how do i know which one is for me i'm sure those that are still hanging here are those that still want to know how do i know which one is for me so our data analysis bootcamp right is a very popular and a very very um is a very very in demand and popular training and bootcamp not only you know for those that want to become data analysts anybody at all that wants to thrive in their career paths even if you're a business analyst we get a lot of people finish our bootcamp get jobs even adama says she's coming back to take the data analyst bootcamp self you know and that's the thing regardless of whether you get a job or not you need to continue to have that continuous improvement mindset you can't go to bed right you can't go to bed and because that's what a lot of people that have now moving to the uk are suffering from they got a job they were getting promoted but they were not adding value to themselves 10 years 15 years down the line what do they have to do, bring to the table nothing i'm a manager yeah i'm a manager day. okay manager what can you bring to the table it's not about the role that you've done it's about what you are now the capacity you are building within yourself what are you able to do what are you able to bring to the table we shouldn't make that mistake twice we've made it you know most of us that grew our career in you know back home or something you know before moving to the uk i have a lot of people who have 20 years of experience but cannot use excel you know who have been promoted back to back back to back in different com companies they've worked but they they don't have any professional certification you know they don't have any skill any tech skill but that should change we should not be those people when we land our first job we should not settle there you know, we should continue to, I mean, within our pace, right? It's not necessarily under pressure. Continue to develop ourselves. Please let's mute ourselves. Thank you very much. So, right. So, the data in our data analysis bootcamp, right? You get to learn MS Excel basic to advanced, right? You get to learn Power BI basic to advanced. You get to learn Tableau, SQL, right? And artificial intelligence as well you know if you are a professional in the uk and you cannot use excel except you want to just do shift jobs though, like amazon you know all these shift jobs you know pick your shift when you can those kind of jobs probably you might not need excel or you might not even know this analysis so, but if you want to like you are one of those that don't want to agree this 2024 using the latest um, slang if you're one of those that you know want to like compete for you know professional high paying jobs then you can't afford not to be able to use analytical tools skills you might escape it you might get your first job and say oh but in my current job well but the thing is that this is that space so where you are not going to settle for less in one job this is that space where if you are not getting promoted right in one particular company what do you do you move and the only way you can move is if you have what to offer you want to leave a particular company to another but what do you have to that's why in any company you are you are what as you are in the particular company when you get your first job you are not only there to give them you're also there to take to take what you can use to add to your unique brand as you proceed on your career journey what's the retirement age in the uk is it not 65 i'll be 60 we still have a long journey for some of us that do, right? We still have a long journey to that time, meaning that we're still going to be moving from maybe, I mean, until we start our own, right? For those that want to start their own, yeah, right? We are still going to be building capacity to continue to stay relevant. Of course, nobody here should be working to 65. But I mean, if we are, it means that we shouldn't be doing like menial jobs to that time. We should be in our own comfort zone, whatever it is that means for any and every of us. Anyway, back to my slides, right? So in our data analysis bootcamp, right, you are going to learn Excel. These are the most, these are, this is the basic. This is not the only analytical tools out there, don't get me wrong, wrong but this is a very good combination, you know, to put together you know this is a very good combination right to put together 
to start a career in data analysis. A lot of people even go through a boot camp, right? They get data analysis success story. I mean, they get their job in data analysis. And guess what? They don't use more than just two of these. They don't even get to use. But the thing is that because they don't use more than two, it does not mean that in their next job, they will not need the four. So it's good they've learned it, right? And sometimes they even got the job. A lot of companies will employ you. Maybe they're still using Excel, but they're planning to move to Power BI tomorrow. They will not employ somebody that can only use Excel well. They will employ someone that can use Excel, Power BI, WL, and SQL. Why? Because they want someone that is adaptable and that is ready to go along with them when they are changing. Because most of the companies in the UK are changing their system, changing the tools that are using, changing. There's, change is the only permanent thing right now. And that's why I said it earlier for those of those that were with me at the beginning that we have to be adaptable. We have to be able to accept change, drive change, and be the change as well. So these are like a few out of the many analytical tools out there. Most of them mirror Power BI and Tableau anyway. That's for the visualization tools. Excel has come to stay. It's not going anywhere. Yes, a lot of people are moving to Power BI, but they still integrated with Excel. And the, the ability to use Excel is not just only about even the crunching of the data and all that. The methodology that you use in using Excel, you carry it to some other spreadsheet tools as well that you want to use. If you can't use Excel, you'll be able to use them as well. Right. <clears throat> so who can take our data analysis course? Right. So in our data analysis course, right, you is also as practical as the business analysis and projects management. However, is a different model we run here. Here we work on individual projects as well as group projects. Because what you are learning in our data analysis um, training, you know, is very practical. And I know a lot of people are scared. Don't worry, there's no coding here. You write a couple of scripts, but you will learn how to write it as well. And it's a continuous thing. You can't learn everything during a three months bootcamp. You continue to develop yourself. Like I said, most of the most of the jobs safe. They want you to be able to use it. Most companies already have their queries saved somewhere that they just paste. I used the SQL in my previous job, but I really cannot write some very complicated um, queries because most of those queries is already in the database. I have a folder where my queries are. If I want to spool savings accounts, I go and copy it, I paste it, I export it, you know. But I'm not saying that you shouldn't learn how to write queries. I'm just saying that sometimes the the requirements of the job or the day-to-day -day on the jobs is not even as intense as the bootcamp. We have a lot of people who go on, you know, to get a job after the bootcamp. They will now tell us that even the task they gave them to pass the interview, right, was not even as tough as the project they did on our, on our bootcamp, which is a good one, isn't it? That's why it's better for the bootcamp to be more intense than industry, such that you are more than ready to tackle the, you know, opportunities out there. So, in our bootcamp, you get to learn, you know, you learn, you practice, you know, you work on projects, both individually and group projects. The purpose of the group project is obvious. Soft skills, collaboration tools, working under pressure, working with difficult stakeholders, working to tight deadline. These are the skills that you will pick, you know, during this intense group project that you would also talk about at interviews. Some people might not have experienced this before in their normal soft life, but in the boot camp, you would experience in the boot camp, you experience that when you experience it, you are able to talk about it. Right. And that's the reason why there's always that soft skills, you know, part where, you know, you get to work on group projects, working with other people, collaborating. So you get that, you know, and you also present to senior stakeholders. You know, you present your findings in presentation slides, right, to senior stakeholders. This is what we found. This is what you can do to make your business data. After crunch, after analyzing your data, we saw this, we saw this. We think you should increase your sales here. We think you should do this. We observe that in January, you always have high sales. Why not increase your marketing to this area? We observe that it's only female that shop the most in your. Why not have a campaign specially for males to attract males as well we are, that's what data analysts do they solve problems they provide insights for those that don't know what data analysts do a data analyst analyze data and provide insights you know to stakeholders to make strategic decision making every business wants to make profits no business wants to not make profit and for businesses to make profits they need to find out how how do they make the profits the how is hidden in the data Every activity we do on the day to day is data. As we step out of our house, for some people, somewhere, somewhere, is data to them. As we are shopping, is data to our banking app um, companies, right? As we are tapping our card, is data to someone that wants to know where we are somewhere too. As we are stepping out of our house, someone wants satellite somewhere is capturing that we've stepped out. Tomorrow, if they need that data, they will they will get it. 
So all our activities, all our actions is data to somewhere else. Meaning that decision-making, predictions, investigations can be done using data. Data is very, very powerful. That's why career paths that requires data would never go extinct. The tools that will be used to implement or analyze this data might just be, be changing and different, but they will still need human beings to use these tools. There can be another tool tomorrow, but it's still human being, you know, that we use it. It's not like the, I mean, it's, it's still human beings that we, you know, that would um, learn how to use it and also use these tools to actually analyze the data. The tools might just make the work easier and require maybe less people, right? So, a lot of people ask, you know, I'm, a, I'm an accountant, I'm a this. Which course do you re and, um, recommend for me? I'm an accountant myself, right? However, I'm now a senior finance analyst or my last row is a senior finance analyst row. And why is this? Because I'm able to, and senior finance analyst is a blend of tech and finance. The reason I'm able to do this is because I can analyze that. I don't go to do that. I don't even remember debit and credit again. Why? Because there are softwares that do this. There are softwares that do the debits, credits, journal, this and that. What we do as finance professional now is to analyze this financial data, you know, and bring out insights. Okay, this was the profits. This was the revenue last month. This was the this last month. This is this month. So we do last month versus this month. We do actual versus budget. This is where we were supposed to be. This is where we are. Don't forget, this data set is going into one database. We are getting it out. We are analyzing it. And they will put it in tables to show this year versus last year. This month, this year versus this month, last year. This year, this year, I mean, there's a lot of variation you can actually have, but that's just to provide more insights about what data analysts do. And guess what? It's not just finance analysts, and there's analysts in all the roles, to be honest. And this is just for an accountant, the same way for an HR person. An HR person, so I have a lot of HR people who say, oh, people are struggling to get HR job, you know, but I enrolled for your data analysis boot camp, I, you know, and after that, I was able to get HR analyst role, reward analyst. There was even a person that was very intentional. She reached out to me and she was like, I saw a testimonial you posted about someone who got an HR analyst role. I've been trying to get HR roles in the UK. I've got to enroll for your data analysis boot camp because of that success story. And, you know, guess what? Because she was intentional, she knew what she wanted. Guess what? Immediately after the boot camp, she got two HR, one reward analyst, one HR analyst, HR data analyst roles. Immediately, just because she was intentional as well. I had somebody as well. She's a banking professional. She had previous experience in, I can't remember, maybe accounting. I'm sure if you read our success stories, you'll see some of these stories because I try to make our success story as engaging as possible. Oh. You see all this, you know, she added a finance background to the accounting and she was able to get, you know, a billing analyst or something. So the roles are there. Not all of them will carry data analyst on it. Just the same way you can see what uh, Madame I just said. She, she um, took business analyst bootcamp with us, but she was able to get a, an application analyst role. It's still the same thing. The, the nomenclatures might be different. But guess what you're bringing to the table? The analytical skills is what you're adding to what you already have. So now have a unique brand and stand out. Because most of the cause of these rules, and you know, I don't know, there was a time they used to say there are some rules that will go extinct by so-so year. When they say those rules are going extinct, it's not like they will still not need somebody that has those degrees in those rules. But they would need to get some more. The people that are just bringing just that degree or the knowledge or experience to the table would not have a chance in the market. The people that are having combining like this hr for instance or accounting for instance with other tech skills like analytical skills that will get the job when they are in the market because companies have people that have hr experience but this one cannot this one not only has hr experience she can also analyze it or she can use visualization board she can tell us what our turnover staff turnover you know is like she can tell us you know how many people left the company this year how many people left last year she can tell us whether the people that maybe our mobility rate is too high she can tell us whether this is because there was a mass um, lay of in fact in a particular industry she can tell us this because she's analyzing data so data analytical skills is useful across look at digital marketing as well a digital marketing person that is very very um good with analytical skills can actually tell us that okay with this analysis 
you know these are this is our main list you know let's analyze them these people open at this time these people don't open at this time why not let's push this to them why not let's segment why not let's just to be honest analytical skills cannot be the usefulness of analytical skills across different career paths cannot be emphasized and you get to pick up the most you know relevant of this field these skills from our, our RQY careers bootcamp so who can take the course entry-level professional looking to start a career in data analysis or business intelligence anyone wants to gain analytical skills to stand out in their current profession professionals in the mid levels we are either transition transitioning from another career path and looking to enhance their knowledge of data analytical skills tools which are in demand so for every one of you in this um on this call if you can't use analytical skills even i mean you know that there's something missing that you need to actually you need to be able to use analytical you know skills across the different roles you know that you hold right so what are the tools you will learn in our analytical in our data analysis bootcamp right you learn excel power bi tablet sql you also get bonus classes in introduction to python um powerpoint as well ssis and all tricks and these are bonus um recorded classes that you also get that you get um access to <clears throat> so these are some data analysis related success stories you know that we had in the past couple of months you can see the different titles hr reward analyst data and information service officer you know what there's even someone that got a public health intelligence analysts geospatial something something and guess what the person in route for our data analysis the person probably studied public health or something you know because people complain that there's no job in this particular career path there's no job in this particular career path but the thing is that what can you add to that career path you know to help you stand out who would have even known that there was a public health intelligence analyst role but the person was able to get that job because the person took our data analysis but you know you can see finance analysts you see events planning analysts you know with a top hospitality firm in lagos i mean in london sorry you know so this person has a hotel background has data analysis experience i was able to get this role with a very big hotel company in london <laughs> you know we have someone who goes operational research analyst with the civil service you know commercial finance analyst role reward another hr reward analyst role and then landed two visa sponsorship jobs with the nhs thanks to the rky data analysis bootcamp i mean i think this speaks for the self, themselves and explains you know what i've been saying <laughs> you can see how they but they all went through the same learning but guess what they are leveraging who can tell me what they leverage to make them to be able to land different titles depend i mean even though the um even though the course they took was the same i know i've talked about this but i just need someone to give me that one phrase of what they are leveraging to stand out and be unique i'm looking at the chat box to see if there's anyone still following me i think i've lost everybody <laughs> okay i have industrial knowledge past experience experience thank you you one day also soft skills thank you for lilat i'm following thank you caroline transferable skills thank you for my that's the word i'm looking for everybody's right as well they're leveraging their industry experience they're leveraging their transferable skills they're leveraging you know what they already you know they're leveraging what they already um have right cool 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 okay so they are leveraging what they already have that they added you know the data analysis skills too okay so what are the potential career paths in data analysis the list is endless based on what we've already said right whatever it is you're adding to you know there's someone that got a buyer job she got this buyer job. She studied this supply chain or procurement or something. She had a bit of buyer experience, right? And, you know, she got a buyer job because of uh, um, analytical skills. So these are a few of the career paths you can explore, right? Right, as a data analyst, we've got data analysis, data science, data and finance analyst, marketing and analyst, insights analyst. There was somebody that got a marketing intelligence analyst paying three fifty pounds per per day, three fifty pounds 
per day immediately after the boot camp this same person went on to get a job with a, reg a big regulatory body in the uk like you know like the companies that students get jobs in right they are just mind-blowing i wish i could just disclose you know all the companies that they get jobs in but you know for security or whatever reasons you know anyways what's the eligibility of data analysis getting you visa sponsorship i think i already had a very long game um, this thing on visa sponsorship but i'll just show you what the list is i think we talked about visa sponsorship right so these are the you know this data analysis under the 3539 is also one of the career paths that people are getting visa sponsorship in right and the good thing is that you can now tap into you know getting visa sponsorship across an hr person can actually get visa sponsorship because of the data analysis bootcamp as a an hr data analyst right so i mean there's no limit to where you can actually get visa um, visa sponsorship from so long as it's an eligible career path so training perks you get you know virtual classes live classes of course not recordings we are not one of those that would collect money from you and then give you videos to go and watch you know our classes are live and practical after every class you get to go back to practice with data sets we've given you also you know you get access to our lms to watch your recordings you know to watch recordings and um to watch recordings and catch up you know on classes you know you get access to real world life projects as well you get to work on loads of data sets you get interview prep you get a web portfolio then you get our weekly drop-in session the reason why this session is very important is because in the data analysis bootcamp right you're learning a lot of tools unlike the other one where you know it's not like you're learning excel power bi and everything of course you're learning concepts and methodologies and you're applying it this one you're learning how to use because you'll be using it on a daily basis you're learning how to use excel you're learning how to use power bi you're learning how to use different functionalities and features in this you know in this um tools right so because of that our classes don't just end on saturdays and sundays so classes for data analysis is saturday and sundays 5 to 7 pm you also get extra drop-in session you know to come and ask personalized questions say for instance now you've watched class on saturday you've watched on sunday you get to practice you learn say for instance you learn how to sort and do something something today you go back and practice then if you now have a question you don't need to wait till saturday to come and ask your question you can join our drop-in sessions on thursday 6 to 8 p.m and saturdays 1 to 3 p.m to bring your questions to the team of facilitators to help to get a personalized response so you'll be able to say this is what i'm struggling with can i share my screen can you help with this what can i do with this on i mean which is a personalized session others who can also join is a session that happens is recurrent you can join regardless of whether you have question or not you can come and learn from other people's question this extra support has actually proven to help a lot of people to be able to pick up these skills within the short time of 10 weeks you know that we run the boot camp because a lot of people get stuck is the most important thing is about the ability to follow you know and be able to you know pick up the skills as we progress to the other you know stage and other step as well so it's not just only saturday and sunday of classes you also get this extra support to help you as you pick up the skills so during the boot camp you learn you know data extraction data visualization you learn to be able to build dashboard you learn to be able to you know you learn business intelligence you know data analysis with excel and sql tableau and soft skills as well Okay, so during the um, bootcamp as well, apart from the group projects, you get to, okay, you get to work on a final group project, you know, so this group project is when you get world class data, I mean world data sets, real world data sets, and you work with your team to clean, you know, you know to work on this data provide as much insight as you can bring out as much insights make recommendations to stakeholders and also present this to stakeholders these projects you know a lot of people say is even tougher than the projects that they get to work on when they get um when they get interviews really you know so you also get the professional web portfolio in the data analysis space amongst some other fields as well it's not just about you saying i can do this i can do this you also get to be able to show them that these are the past projects i've worked on you know so you get to all the projects you work on during the um, boot camp as well we also get to help you put it on a web portfolio more like a website right you get to give us the domain name you want you know and all that and then we get to 
put it on a web portfolio, you know, where recruiters, employers, where you can also showcase to people to show them that this is what I have done. That also helps, you know, to show, you know, that you actually have this skills. You're not just talking about it. So here is how some of our students have gone from having zero experience to being able to build, you know, very um, professional dashboards. As you can see, they also go on to share this, their progress on their um, LinkedIn platform. This also helps to actually draw, you know, recruiters and also, you know, draw engagements on your LinkedIn. These are the things you'll be able to do. I mean, how many of you can build dashboards like this as we speak? Well, how many? Of, I know that there are lots of people that probably can do it. How many of you cannot do it? Cannot build dashboards like this? Are there people here that can't do it? If you can't, just drop a, a, a I can't or something on the I can't or oh, Joel, I can't. Okay, cool. So we have people who can't. We have some people who can, which is good, really. You know. <laughs> So I'll say I'll be a lodo. No one is an olodo, but you know, I can't. So there are loads of people that can't and that would love to, I believe. Right. So what would be the what would be in the portfolio? The portfolio would have projects you have worked on in the past that you want to showcase, right? To um, whoever is interested to visit it, which is it will be on your CV as well. The link to your portfolio will be on your CV. It's really very important for developers, you know, designers, data analysts to have like a visual representation of things they have done and that they can do. It's not just about you now coming to talk about, I can do this, I can bring this to the table. You are showing them that this is me. This is a sales report I built. This is, you know, dashboard I built. This actually helped some of our, one of our students, right, to get a job as a project manager, the ability to build this dashboard. You know, the person came to our data analysis bootcamp, was previously a projects manager and has been struggling to get a job and the person you know joined our data analysis bootcamp and you know we did a cv for business intelligence and projects manager and he got a job a sponsorship job a senior job with the nhs band seven or band six or something you know just because he can you know build this dashboard he can bring analytical skills to the table other projects managers that they interviewed could not do it, but he can do it in addition to being a project manager. So that's that testifies to the fact that it's about what more you can bring to the table that other people don't have rights and that they need because companies employ based on their needs. They won't, it might not be on the job description, but they know what they need and they know what will be an advantage to them. Right. So having said all this, right, what's the value of the training? As you can see, the web portfolio, you know, there you get a website, you know, and you get a you get a I mean you get your CV and LinkedIn done, you get, you know, work experience, you know, work reference to verify the work experience, interview prep, certificate of completion, LMS and the likes. This training as well, you know, we had we used to have two packages actually. We used to have the extensive and the standard the standard used to be for 550 or something and that one does not come with cv linkedin and web portfolio right it's just training and you know other things however the one we are talking about now which has the cv linkedin web portfolio is the 750 pounds one right which is even due for increase to be honest based on the web portfolio cost increase our developers you know said the cost of domain name and everything due to exchange or blah 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 has increased so but you still have the opportunity of getting it at the same price, five ninety nine pounds. You know, you know, you still get to get the discount and get it at five ninety nine pounds and pay as well in two installments. Right? You you can secure your slots with just two fifty. Is it two? With just um two ninety nine pounds, or is it two ninety nine? Yeah, two ninety nine pounds. You can secure your slot with just two ninety nine pounds and then balance you know mid february or month end if you are joining from nigeria and want to enroll for this course or from ghana or we had some ghana and kenyan people please message the number on the whatsapp right and they would attend to you so so i think yeah these are the um training perks as well this is the schedule we start with excel on the 27th of january so this course starts on the 27th of january then we move to power bi then to tableau to introduction to python and you know interview prep and group 
presentation. I don't know if we have any questions so far based on, you know, I don't know if there's any question that has not been answered yet. I think admin has been doing a good job of answering the questions. I was former senior accountant on today be project management course in May. We always have every two months, so I want to believe after March it will be me, you know. Okay, so the for the for those asking about Nigeria, this thing, please message the number on WhatsApp. But I mean, for the installments plan, like I said, we've been promoting this since November. Right now, we only have two installments plans available. Pay the initial deposits now and pay balance by January ending or February, mid-February. Okay, I think. Okay, thank you for bringing that down. My son working in it and okay, was insightful. Okay. All right, I think we've answered most of the questions. I don't know if there are any new questions related to data analysis. Um, I think the data analysis schedule is not really accurate. So uh, there's no really no need for me to show it again. But I know you start with Excel, you move on to Power BI, then you move on to SQL, then Tableau, and then you get the free courses. You can watch those ones as at any, the free one on Python, PowerPoint, and the likes. You can watch them at any time. Is Excel needed to learn business intelligence and data analysis as I have little to no experience using Excel? Yeah, that's what we've just said. You will learn Excel first because there's no way you want to learn. I mean, you want to present yourself as a data analyst if you can't use Excel, right? So you will learn Excel first, basic to advance. We have a very, you will learn from the, you know, easiest or how would I call it? You will learn Excel first. You move to Power BI, then you move to you move to Power BI, you move to SQL, you learn Tableau as well. Power BI and Tableau are very similar. They do the same thing. They help you visualize data, but it's good to be able to, you know, use the two, you know, as well. Okay, so classes starts January 27th. How much is this in, card, in Canadian dollar? Well, to be honest, I don't know how much is this in Canadian dollar, but I'm sure that we can give you the payments link, you know, to pay with and I'll convert it by itself. Right, that's indeed. You can also chat the WhatsApp numbers for payments link. Right. So for someone with core sales experiences, data analysis is not the preferable against business analysis. Like I said, it depends on you what you really want because you can combine anyone. You know, you can. You will just have to be able to tell your story. One thing I yeah, one thing I would say as a gift to everybody is you need to master the ability to tell your career story. It is very important to be able to tell your career story. You know, because at the end of the day, you've done a boot camp. You, your story as someone that is combining finance and business analysis would be different as the story of someone that is combining finance and data analysis because they, you can actually combine finance and business analysis too. They're actually finance business analyst roles. But you need to be able to tell the story. And why did you transition from here to here? How did you move from this role to this role? Mm -hmm. Once you work on your CV or you get your CV, you should be able to master how to yeah, tell the story fine. of your transition from the career mm -hmm. paths to a career path once you have your story tight there's no way you get to that you cannot defend your cv there's no way you get to that you cannot defend you know storytelling skill is a very very important skill please 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 let's mute ourselves it's very distracting please when we mute, when we unmute ourselves please let's mute ourselves like i said it's very very important to master our storytelling skills you know okay. if you combine sales with you'll be surprised in this uk they create roles based on their needs, like I always say. You will see something like um, finance transformation manager. You will also see business transformation manager. The two roles are not the same, you know, but, you know, the two roles are not the same. But it's a combination of, you know, someone being a transformation or process improvement person and having an accounting background. Someone that studied business analysis and finance, that someone that has a finance background now and joined our business analysts bootcamp can actually go for a business please let's mute us and me please mute everybody oh that one is coming this call of infant but only this is the elevator i'm waiting to be exactly i'll tell her that 
What is it? Can we continue now? Okay, cool. So, like I said, right, someone that um, we need to master storytelling skills, you know, to be able to talk about and defend our experience, our journey. Once you get your CV, look at your CV. How do you explain your journey? You know, if your CV asks that you freelance a particular time, you need to be able to explain it. When you are asked about your experience, it's your it's the way you explain and master your storytelling skills that will determine how much recruiters believe things you are saying about your experience when you are saying it, right? And that comes also from being, you know, very confident as well. So for Caroline just joining, I mean, what's the next intake after? After January, I think is also March or so. After January is also March or April. I can't be, but the thing is, if you start securing your slots from now, you get to enjoy these same discounts. So it should, in case it goes up, it won't affect you, you know, it, it won't affect you. So, all right. All right, cool. So, yeah, um, I think... We are good to go. So now the next one to talk about is the Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. This is not a boot camp. When I say it's not a boot camp, it's a training. It's also eight weeks, but it's a training. And when I say training, it means that you know it's not a transition. It's not making you become a you know, it's not making you become you're not using it to become another person. You are using it, you are adding the skills to what you already have, you know. So who can who needs Excel and PowerPoint? I think I already talked briefly about this. Everybody needs Excel and PowerPoints because you'll be asked, you know, to work on, you know, you'll be asked to work on um Excel or PowerPoint. I mean to work on um some data set when you get interviews, or you'll be asked to present something. I've had a lot of people reach out. Hey, RKY, I have an interview tomorrow. They told me to pre do PowerPoint presentation. Unfortunately, RKY does not do people's technical skills for them. You have to do it yourself. We can review if you book our interview prep, but we cannot do it for you. You have to do it for yourself, right? So it's important that you do it, you know, yourself. We review, right? But that's why, you know, we have a course in it that you can take to prepare yourself. Should in case the opportunity comes, but who is ready to take these opportunities when they come? You can't be waiting till when you now need it before you're now looking for who we, you know, who we teach you or where you will learn it from at that time okay cool so for our microsoft excel and powerpoints training you know it's an eight weeks training where you get the first five weeks in excel and then move to powerpoints the basic to add is also basic to advance where you also get to be able to build dashboards just like those that everything that the data analyst can do under excel you will be able to do as well because you learn basic to advance as well it's just that you won't learn power bi you won't learn all these things it's just 100 pounds to secure your slots i mean no it's just 100 pounds actually there's is no there's no security slot it's just 100 pounds that's the discounted amount for this you get to learn excel you get to learn powerpoints you work on projects you do individual projects you also do advanced projects i was just running on google and checking how much you know other uk-based companies do excel and powerpoint training i was seeing 500 pounds you know i was saying to be honest i think our prices are really really you know there was someone that called me i was complaining that he took a training to become an account assistant the person has already is already a finance professional he's an auditor but the only training because when he joined he didn't have anybody to advise him or point him to rky and he said the only training he saw was like a, it was even not it was it's not even like an african owned or the, you know black owned company and you know the training is to become an account assistant you know and the child uh, well, maybe one thousand pounds and he paid he paid to be to learn it and when it's not that everything they were teaching him is at things you already there's nothing new you know you, there was nothing new he learned and it didn't even help him because he's, he's way more advanced than that already but that's just to tell you what's the value of training and what these things is in this space right so i think i mean so on this as well the training starts 27th of january and then uh, we move on to powerpoints after five weeks on the 24th of february right so briefly we are going to also talk about the uk compliance bootcamp as well you know the uk compliance and kyc bootcamp is a four in one bootcamp as well you know for people who are who are interested in you know 
getting into compliance, either as foreign trained lawyers, ex bankers, you know, people who have experience in customer service, or who just want to like, I want to work in a bank, or I want to work with financial institution, or with um. Legal, I have a legal background and I don't want to completely leave legal. I don't want to go into any other field. I want to still stay within, you know, even if it's not, I'm not a solicitor, you know, because the cost of becoming a solicitor is a lot. I want to still stay within that environment, right? And this is also one of our very, very popular courses. We have a lot of people landing jobs, you know, from being, you know, we even have people landing jobs across borders. People in Nigeria landing jobs with, you know, top, um, uk financial institution remotely right in this space as well so in our course you get to learn kyc aml financial crime and sanctions and also anti-money and also um data protection and gdpr is a five-week boot camp just saturdays only you know it's the shortest of all our boot camps you know where you get to you know um, I mean, where you get to learn all this. Why pursue a career in compliance? You know, it's also high in demand and is more stable. You know, it has div diverse career opportunities. We have people landing jobs from KYC analysts, AML analysts, you know, um, clients due diligence analysts, clients intake analysts, you know, um, business risk analysts. You know, the list is endless, to be honest, as well. Um, you know, this is also the schedule. It's also starting on the 27th of january so we have three courses starting 27 our data our compliance and our excel starting on the 27th is also 5.99 pounds you know you also get to enjoy you know everything on the other boot camps you know get you enjoy the expert classes you enjoy cv and linkedin optimization services you get access to our lms you get to work on projects and cases you know real world cases solving cases like real kyc analysts you get interview prep right you get you know artificial intelligence module as well you know you get um you know, to work on projects which goes on your CV and which you get reference for when during the verification stages as well. You know, so I mean, that's um, I think Femi, I've answered your question about the compliance and KYC, right? So I don't know if we now have any questions. You know, I've done a very good job of talking for the past is it two and a half hours? It's now to time to get to take your questions. Yes, you mentioned this hundred pound. Yes, it's just hundred pound. That's the Excel and PowerPoint, right? Not the compliance. Compliance is also five ninety nine pounds. I think we're having another session. If you want to hear more about the compliance and KYC, if that's what you're interested in, we're having another session on thirteenth where you can join us. You know, for a, a master class in KYC and AML as well. Okay. Um, I think I've done a very fantastic job. People don't really have much questions, right? For the practical experience gained in the boot camp, are we going to have it on our CV as well, Christmas? And what coverage would, how long would they be? So, yes, you're going to have the work experience as well on your CV. And um, it's going to be 2023 to present. We do not put months on our CVs, right? We get to know more about this as well when you move on to the other side. Well, yes, definitely you will get, you know, work reference for the work experience period. You know, I mean, this is also subject to you completing the projects. It's very, very important that, you know, we also are involved in our success. RKY is not going to be able to give you your success stories if you don't do your part. You can't be busy. And because you are busy, you are not moving away from what you need to help you to live, you know, because we have a lot of people who are busy. You know, they join the boot camp. It's a struggle to get them to participate. And then, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't get success stories, you know that you are responsible for your success story because we have made those those um, resources we've made available. They will still happen regardless of whether you come or not, right? They will still happen with regardless of whether you come or not. So it's very important you leverage them. At the end of the day, you still go and pay somewhere else or pay again to have access or to you know have the same experience all over again you know one thing we are confident about is that we keep our word right we will do everything we have said we will do it's not up to you to leverage and use this to your own advantage the people who always come out with the earlier success stories are those that play their part and plays very diligently during the boot camps as well right okay i've sent messages on the whatsapp no response 
Okay, please. I think you know the admins are also active here on the call, so maybe that's why the response is a bit slow. But I'm sure they are on it, and I'm sure probably they have a lot of messages as well that they are taking one after the other. Right. Is there any visa sponsorship role on the UK and compliance rules pathway? Yes, there are, there's actually um sponsorship opportunity. Or is a, or the compliance rule is also eligible for visa sponsorship, you know, but it's not like tech tech on its own. I don't know if you get, but if you are able to get a company that will sponsor you, compliance is on the UK, um, is on the this eligible occupation list as well but just as any other lists the market is extremely competitive right now if you see a company it's even hard to even say that you can find visas i don't know when last you guys saw a job that says offering visa sponsorship like we used to at some points you know it's now so i mean so now it's about you do the interview you wow them and then when you get to that stage where you know where um you're talking about your documentation that you can let them know that oh, you need visa sponsorship they will be eager to do it if you've wowed them and you've actually made it to that stage right okay so is pm rule available for visa sponsorship i think we listed about five you know um codes within the projects management rules where you know you can get visa sponsorship and we have a lot of success stories as well in this area with visa sponsorship when should one start applying for a job while on the course or wait after completing the course, right? If you intend to use the experience that you are gaining from the bootcamp or your CV to apply for the jobs, then it's very important to actually gain this experience first before you actually put it on your CV, right? Or before we put it on your CV. So the CV and LinkedIn part always comes towards the end after we you've gained considerable amount of experience because it's not just about applying to jobs, it's about actually getting the job and being able to do the job as well. So it's always towards the end of the bootcamp. Okay, what type of job that those to Excel and PowerPoint apply for? Like we said, the Excel and PowerPoint is not a bootcamp on its own that is helping you to transition. However, you can add the ability to use your Excel and PowerPoints to any career path that you are, and then you can apply to any job in that space as well. And you can see reflective from the price, it's just hundred pounds compared to the five ninety nine pounds that other costs cost. Um, costs right okay for the projects management and excel now i'm actually asking because of the payments payments for both might be a lot so if we don't really need it on the cost so i can take it after i think you should go for the project management first and do the excel later it might be a lot for you to do the two together you know because of the time as well the time the time cuts across each other as well so after the march the january boot camp i think the next one will be like march because we have our boot camps every two months right there will be a class in may as well the dates i don't have here we already have, your, have it on our calendar i don't have the dates on this call as i'm speaking to you right now for the may class or for the march class as well the exact dates right but it's sometimes in may probably we'll make a post where we would list out all the dates or the months you know because it's tentative as well it's tentative. All the days we have are tentative, right? But we know that there will be another class in March and then there will be another class in May as well. I don't know if that answers all your question. Thank you so much, everyone. Who have stayed on this call with me starts up until now. You know, it's been a very great one. So would there be, are there part-time or remote jobs for projects managers? Definitely, you know, <laughs> we have like some of our facilitators who are actually remotely working in different, you know, locations as well, you know. So there are jobs. So the thing is that you don't, you're not even limited to the UK. You can be in the UK and be working in the US. You, know, you can be in the UK and be working anywhere, to be honest. You can be in Nigeria and be working as a projects manager in different parts of the world as well and you can also get visa sponsorship for these roles now we get a pre-recorded version of this meeting well we would um we recorded it but we'll try to see how much of it we can actually put on our youtube right so subscribe to our youtube now so that you can get notified when we put it up our youtube handle is rky career same with our other handles if you are not following us yes please follow us across social media platforms at rky careers right what do you advise a student studying international business law masters i don't know what sort of advice you need but it depends on the career path you want to explore you know all these career paths are you can explore as well depending on what 
you know your goal is and what you really want okay i'm currently working hr in the uk would you advise i take data analysis for the pm i think it depends on you really <laughs> but i think i've explained you know how you can combine each of these career paths you know with data analysis or projects management you know you can also try to look at which of them have more jobs you know but at the end of the day it's also about you what you really want and what the long term goal for once in it as well is Cool. Thank you so much. It has been an amazing one. Thank you as well, Chinaza, for staying true from the beginning yeah. till now. Yeah. Can I send yeah. a DM to your IG and get the response from my RQI as mm -hmm. well? Yes, you can. But, you know, I have loads of messages I'm here to respond to. But yes, you can send a message. I think I've not even gone to Instagram this today. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the Excel training, that's for Linda. Excel training is 3 to 5 p.m. while PMB is 4 to 6 p.m., you know. And I think you would have, you have a struggle, really. Okay, so which of the boot camps would you advise someone without experience to take? Any of the boot camps don't require prior experience. So there's none, you can take any of them, to be honest. So it's all down to which one you really 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 like it's hard for me to say this is the one you should do because i mean at the end of the day you know is that for me it's very clear say for instance an accountant now that one i don't think about it twice except you are interested in business analysis or something i would say you should try the data analysis but for those that you know you can actually try any of them it will be down to you to decide which one you are really interested you know in but you can also book if you want the one to one if you want me to intensely look at all your you know your cv and all that you can book a one-to-one -one career advisory consultation you know for a 30 minute session for us to go through your background and all that but i think i've done a very good job explaining everything about you know all the courses available are we going to be in the same class those in nigeria definitely canada of course of course, we're all going to be in the same class. There's no separate class, you know, for those in Nigeria or Canada. Or We are all going to be working collaboratively across the different locations. You know, that's what projects managers or data analysts do. You work with people from different parts of the world. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. If there's any question I'm here to answer, you can bring it to our DM on Instagram. Or you can send us an email on bookings at rkycareers.com or support at rkycareers.com and we will be sure you know to respond to you to book a one-to-one -one session as well you know you can book it through our website as well and the links can be dropped um admin you can drop the link you know you can book it through our website you see book a consultation or career advisory you can also book it through our link tree if you go to our instagram the link on the bio takes you to book career advisory as well and then you can book this okay cool thank you thank you thank you so much everyone um i think um, it's been a great session i still have over 132 of you still in the meeting fantastic thank you so much everyone for joining um yeah i think it's time to call it a day so we can all enjoy the rest of our evening so let's we can take the rest you know if you are here to secure your slots you know please do so you know so that you don't miss out of this um opportunity okay i work a full-time job and close by six sometimes it's how would you be able to fit to the time schedule for the pmba so classes old saturday and sunday 6 to 8 p.m i mean 4 to 6 p.m right so if you miss classes you can you know watch back on the um lms all classes are recorded and available on the lms right but I mean, that's what. How do I secure your slots? To secure your slots, you only need to make your initial deposits and then send us an email. We've sent the account numbers here. If you want to send us a DM for us to continue this conversation, we've sent the account numbers you chat box severally, you know, 
But if you you can also send us a DM and we can take it from there. I need to go now. I've been on this call for you know over two hours. Thank you. It was really nice to meet every one of you from Southampton, Sunderland, Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, you know, and every corner in the UK. Have a great evening. Thank you.